Oh, I've never eaten another piece of candy ever again. They say ignorance is bliss, and in this case, it just might be true. So watch at your own risk as we look at 10 products you'll never consume again after seeing this video. Part 2. Skittles. What's your favorite food? Oh, I take Skittles and I put it between two Starbursts. Okay, candy in general is probably something that we shouldn't even eat to begin with, but that's beside the point. With Skittles, you can really taste the rainbow with all of the different colors, but the most beloved one has, by far, got to be the red one. It's almost a universal thing to like red candy. However, there is something that's kept in the dark, and that's how they actually obtain that perfectly delicious red color. Red really is my color. What most people don't know is that to make the red Skittles, they use something called carmine. It might not ring any bells and look like a completely regular ingredient, but don't be fooled, it's not. You see, carmine is a red food dye made out of the cochineal insect. Yes, bugs. To get those crimson candies you love so much, you also need to eat some bugs. I plan to pretend there's a bug in my food and get the meal for free. But surprisingly enough, that's not even the only insect product that's found in your bag of Skittles. There's also shellac. Shellac is used to give those tiny Skittles their bright and shiny exterior and is harvested from the shellac bug, another insect. While you might not eat the bugs directly, it's safe to say you still get a pretty good introduction to the insect world with every bite. If you're afraid of bugs, then this might be a deal breaker. Otherwise, by all means, keep eating your daily dose of insects. Yeah, I mean Skittles. Shredded cheese. And of course, shredded cheddar cheese. When it comes to cheese, are you the type to pick up a block of cheese and grate it yourself, or more on the practical side and just buy an already grated bag of shredded cheese? Well, if you're one of the latter, we regret to inform you that not only are you getting ripped off, but you're also not eating what you signed up for. First of all, to prevent grated or shredded cheese products such as Parmesan or cheddar from turning back into a clump, cheese companies add something called cellulose, which is basically basically wood pulp. So technically, when you're sprinkling that time-saver shredded cheese on your nachos, you're planning to eat a byproduct of the wood industry. Yummy. I eat wood. Din -a -din -a -din -a -din. It tastes good. Din -a -din -a -din -a -din. And yes, even though cellulose is used in a ton of things and is perfectly safe and perfectly legal to eat, it's the thought that repulses many. You know that package of Parmesan that claims to be 100% real Parmesan? Well, it's not exactly true. In fact, more than a few lawsuits have been filed over this exact issue. The company behind Castle Cheese brand was handed a $500,000 fine for adding cellulose and cheddar to their Parmesan cheese and forgetting to put it on the label. Oopsie! <laughs> Essentially, you're better off shredding your own cheese instead of trying to save some time. That way, you get real cheese and no wood byproduct. Jello. Jello. Jello, is this thing on? Jello. It shouldn't come as a surprise that your childhood favorite jiggly dessert isn't the healthiest or the most natural treat out there. It's just common sense. Nothing in nature looks like jello. It's also a known fact that jello is made with gelatin and a ton of it. Well, there's one tiny detail we tend to forget when it comes to what gelatin is actually made of. Gelatin is made of dried ground animal collagen, a protein made up of connective tissues such as skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones. How's about a bowl? Not exactly the tastiest stuff to find in your bowl of jello, that's for sure. Gelatin is made by taking the hides and bones of pigs and cows, boiling them, then drying them before treating them with either a strongly acidic substance or a strong base. Then you extract the collagen, dry it, turn it into a powder, sift, and voila! You now have gelatin. In any case, you're eating some sort of animal parts that you normally wouldn't really want to eat. No wonder vegans steer clear of jello. Pringles. Give me those damn Pringles! Pringles is easily one of the most popular and beloved brands of potato chips there is. The iconic and innovative tube container in which they come is designed to prevent the chips from crushing and help keep them all intact and uniform. However, we can't exactly call them chips for one unique reason. Pringles aren't made with real potatoes. I know, mind-blowing, right? Even though they seem to fit the description of any good potato chip, Pringles are pretty much impossible.
imposters. In the 1970s, a judge ruled that Pringles could not be called a potato chip because of their misleading recipe. They're actually made using a combination of different products like water, potato flakes, and cornstarch, as well as dehydrated processed potato. The least you can expect from a potato chip is some actual potatoes, no? But Pringles decided to go another direction. The judge said they could only use the name potato chips if they changed out the dried potato ingredient. Pringles refused and changed its term to crisps instead. But that's not the only reason Pringles are misleading. They also contain a chemical substance called acrylamide, which has been linked to various health problems. So while Pringles are stackable, slim, and easy to eat, if you want some real potato chips, you know where not to go looking. Mac and Cheese Bless his highly nutritious microwave more macaroni and cheese dinner. It would be hard to find someone out there who doesn't love mac and cheese. It's one of the tastiest, creamiest comfort foods you can find, and it's also one of the easiest to make. While it's one of the world's most popular dishes, it's probably also one of the unhealthiest. The reason for that is very simple. Some harmful chemicals were found in mac and cheese samples when some studies were conducted. These chemicals are called phthalates, which are most commonly added to plastic to make it more flexible. Flexible. Phthalates are also found in makeup and perfumes because they tend to keep smell and color extremely well in products. Maybe that's why mac and cheese smells so incredible. While these particular chemicals are found in the little powder packets of boxed mac and cheese, you wouldn't necessarily be safe from its effects even if you made your own. Phthalates are also found in some cheeses like shredded cheese, cheese strings, and cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? like. Cheese from some cottage? Who's cottage? What, what, what is that exactly? So basically, no matter how you eat it, you're most likely to end up with some unwanted, harmful stuff in your body. It's hard to believe that something so amazing can have such a dark side, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Ice cream. Then Ben & Jerry's named a flavor after me, so... Start craving hazelnuts. It's not bad. A bit chalky. Ice cream is a frozen sweet treat that has been adored ever since it was first invented. Arguably one of the most popular flavors around the world, no matter where you are, is vanilla. It's classic, simple, and delicious. How about vanilla? Let's get vanilla. Well, for those avid vanilla ice cream lovers, there's something that you maybe ought to know about that scoop in your precious ice cream cone. It might be a natural flavor, but sometimes there is such a thing as too natural. Turns out, apart from the milk cream, cream, sugar, and the occasional egg, there is another very odd ingredient that many ice cream companies don't share with the public, something called castorium. Castorium is a compound that beavers use to mark their territory, which comes from the castor sacs of said beavers. It's basically a type of scent gland located between the pelvis and base of the tail. The vanilla and this ice cream from beaver urine since most people's stomachs would turn at the mere thought of eating any kind of beaver secretions, castorium is often listed as natural flavoring, which technically isn't entirely false. But still, even if the FDA recognizes it as safe, maybe not everyone would willingly want to eat vanilla ice cream if fully knowing what's inside of it. So next time you see natural flavoring on your tub of ice cream, be wary. Ready? made frozen meals. Feast your eyes. Dinner is served. We all live busy lives these days. There's always something going on that could prevent us from cooking a full, hearty meal every day. So what's the alternative we often turn to instead of fast food? Already prepared, ready-made meals that seem like they could be the perfect substitute for a quick lunch. Time for lunch in a cup. As looks are often deceiving, these frozen ready-made meals are sadly not nutritious enough to be even remotely acceptable as a real meal. Frozen meals are easy to pop in the microwave and save tons of time, but there is a reason why they demand so little preparation. In order to keep some semblance of flavor after they've been frozen and transported thousands of miles, the easiest way to spice them up is to add salt. And not just a little bit of salt, but like an outrageous amount. Oh, it's too much salt. It's, oh, my, my mouth is on 
joke. And it's no secret that eating a lot of salt can cause high blood pressure, heart disease, and even kidney stones. Not only are these frozen meals packed with salt, but they're also very low in actual ingredients and contain a bunch of chemicals. If you really don't want to give up on an easy way out of dinner planning, you can always go for the protein and plant-based options. They might still not be the picture of health, but they're certainly way healthier than your regular ready-made meals. Nutella. You can have a finger scoop of Nutella. One okay. finger scoop of Nutella. Fair. No one wants to hear that there's something wrong with their favorite food, especially one that many probably eat every day for breakfast. Nutella is definitely a classic spread for anyone who likes a little sweetness in the morning. However, while something sweet for breakfast can be okay in moderation, you might be getting more than you bargained for when it comes to Nutella. You might think that since it's a hazelnut spread, then the nuts might make it a little healthier. I love these nuts! But sadly, no, they don't. Almost half of the jar is straight up sugar. In addition to being high in sugar, it's also high in fat and extremely caloric which isn't exactly what you should be eating first thing in the morning. But the bad nutritional value is not the only thing you should worry about. It's also really bad for the environment. To make Nutella, it requires a lot of palm oil, and palm oil leads to a lot of deforestation, which ultimately leads to the release of carbon into the atmosphere, a key contributor to climate change. Basically, eating Nutella does not only affect your body badly, but also the environment. Even though it's tasty, you just might think twice about buying a jar of Nutella next time you're at the grocery store. Energy drinks. I love these energy drinks, man. I'm almost like kind of on an energy drink cleanse. Right off the bat, energy drinks have never claimed to be healthy. They are bluntly advertised as a possible health hazard, and a clear warning is issued to whoever buys one. While they can improve your physical endurance, they can also be detrimental to your health if you drink too much. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. But most people tend to underestimate just how many harmful ingredients are in those little cans. Mom, I need another energy drink! While the rumors about taurine, which is collected from bull semen, being found in most energy drinks have been debunked, there are still a lot of alarming quantities of bad stuff. For instance, the amount of sugar and caffeine is so high, it can potentially be dangerous. You would probably never drink eight cups of coffee in the morning, right? Yet, in a lot of popular energy drinks on the market, the caffeine content can equal up to the equivalent of eight cups of coffee per serving. Just imagine what that much caffeine can do to your body. Excellent, amazing. I feel better than I've ever felt in a moment in my entire life. So we're all fine. Yep. 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 Even though most energy drink brands are honest about their ingredients, that doesn't mean they're any healthier. Maybe stick with one cup of coffee or a soda if you're looking for that little morning boost. Caesar salad. The secret is in the dressing. Try it. It's an aphrodisiac. What better side dish to pair with your pasta than a nice bowl of Caesar salad? That distinctive, tangy taste goes perfectly with basically any meal and is also great all by itself. Vegetarians, you might want to take note of this one as it might change your next restaurant order completely. That tangy taste you love so much in Caesar dressing? It comes from Worcestershire sauce. And Worcestershire sauce? Well, it has anchovies in it. Lots and lots of anchovies. <sighs> Anchovies. Why? Anchovies! You know, those little fishes that come in a can, the one that's probably sitting at the very back of your pantry and has been there for years? Well, that's what makes Caesar salad so addictive, apparently. Although it shouldn't come as such a big surprise, seeing that most bottles do display a warning for potential fish allergies. It seems most people never bother to read all the way through. Sometimes not knowing something is best, but if you can get past knowing your salad dressing has little fish in it, then nothing should stand in the way of enjoying that delicious Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Ah! At Du Brute? Nope. Stick around, tap or click on another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.